Uh, my name is Leila Firuz Ram. I am from Sweden and uh, I have studied medicine in the Igastradins University Medical Faculty. And uh, today is my graduation day and it's the last day of uh, my Riga time, you can say. I will finish my studies. Yeah. But you know, you have to go on. You have to move on in life and do what you have to do. Actually, it was a friend of a friend of mine who had studied here. He told me a little about this university and he recommended that I should apply. Of course, culture is different depending on where you come from. Attitude, people's attitude is different. University attitude is different. It's much more strict. But here is, of course, tests every practical class. You have to know what you've read, so. It's good, I think. It's very serious level. Here is very disciplined, so you're pushed all the time. For example, if you have a lecture today about something, next week you have to prepare the theme of this lecture for a practical class. So you have to know what you've studied last week. And practical classes like uh, further up in clinical subjects, then you get uh, your own patient, real patients. So you want to be a surgeon? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And your husband, you both will be surgeons? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Our classes, the students learn something. Mm -hmm. I mean, or they start to feel what does it mean to be a doctor? Because before that they realize it as a virtual thing. They have knowledge, but don't know how to apply knowledge. So it's good to have small groups because then you have close contact with the professor and uh, he really checks if you know the subject or if you don't know the subject. I have two men, chronic pancreatitis. Mm -hmm. Then when we puncture ascites, there was, no, there was a thousand units of lipase in ascites. Okay. So of course he has also portal hypertension. You have to take care of your patient yourself so you're kind of independent and then you come back and present to the teacher and there will be discussion what you did wrong, what you should do better next time. And for our group every five students had their own professor. So it's good close work. For the students who are active and who are looking for surgery we give possibility for assistance. I've assisted in real operations. Today is the fifth day. First and second year, I have a lot of studying. So first three years, you only have to study. And I have notes from my pathophysiology lecture classes where, where I've been like really tired and dozing off. So the handwriting is like <laughs> up and down, <laughs> you know, it looks funny. But it's a nice memory now, you know. We had microbiology here. Basically, it's a study about microbes, so viruses, bacteria, and uh, fungi. You do, for example, gram staining to see what, which type of bacteria it is, and um, you look at pictures, but you also use microscopes and see things under the microscope. You do lots of different tests and things in the microbiology lab. It's fun. The transport situation is really good. Uh, you can either take the bus, the trolley, or the tram. We have to go to different hospitals all across the town. So it's good. I think it's good to live in the center because it's in the middle of all the hospitals. Most students live in apartments, at least uh, the Swedish ones that I know. The price range is uh, like 200 lats for if you live if you want to live really in the center if you share an apartment. If, uh, if, I, if I would start over, if I was going to start studying medicine here now, I would study Latvian and learn Latvian. It's easier, just everything is easier. It's easier to have contact with people, your daily life is easier, not to mention the patients that you meet in the hospital. It's good also if 
uh, you can find a good friend or good friends, you know, who can understand your situation as a student here, talk about and, you know, release your emotions and feelings about what happens in your daily life. Somebody who understands. The diploma is issued to the Center of Sweden and the Sailor Program. Um, being a real doctor, I think this is like a feeling that comes later, but I will start working uh, soon, like in two weeks. Yeah.